Jillian Jessima with vSports.com here at the United Center wrapping up game six of the Chicago Bulls battle it out with the Boston Celtics getting the 128-127 victory tying the series at three to three bringing the lights camera action to game seven Saturday night. Well this doesn't this definitely doesn't feel like my first year coaching after this series going on I tell you what I'm uh, just unbelievable. Um, so many things to talk about so many great plays. Um, I mean Ray Allen was just I mean, he was hitting shots. It was unbelievable. I mean, just guys hitting shots and Derek making plays and Joe. I mean, it just there's so much to talk about. I don't know where to start, but just so happy uh, way our guys fought. You know, uh, it looked good for us. It didn't look good for us. It looked good for us. It was just going back and forth. Uh, you know, just so many great plays out there. Derek Rose saved the day at the end of the third overtime with a last second block on Rajan Rondo. Um, I'm a competitor. Um, it's a one on one um, type ordeal. Um, I just wanted to um, get a get a stop or make him um, force up a bad shot, so I was just trying to stop him. Oh, I mean, it was a big game for us. Um, I mean, I think everybody wanted to come out and just leave it all on the floor. Uh, we knew we had to win this game, or that was our season. So um, we got one more left, and uh, hopefully we can go in there and uh, get one. It's the last game of the series, so um, the way the way things have been going, you know, um, throughout you know the first six games, you know, I think it's up in the air. You know, we need to, obviously we need to bring energy. Um, we need to cut down our mistakes. Um, you know, try to stick together. We know it's going to be a hard-fought game. This was, uh, you know, it kind of comes down to, uh, you know, toughing it out. It has been all series. We expect it to be the same way in game seven. Uh, it's just going to be a war. I mean, we've played there extremely well all game so far. So, you know, it's just going to come down to grit, grinding it out. It's going to be, you know, it's just going to be a whole lot of battling. You know, guys making plays, guys not making plays. Since you joined this team, I mean, can, do you have any sense of maybe just proudness of everyone in general when guys are falling out or hurt? It seems like you guys are all just stepping in and you're staying in and you're winning these games in overtime. Yeah, I mean, it's been a crazy series. Um, a lot of overtime um, games and um, a lot of people have been stepping up, hitting big shots, and uh, it's just been a fun series. Since I got here, the games that we've won, some of them, you know, some of the fans left and you know, we were surprised, but never really given up. Uh, I mean, game three was our worst game since I've been here. But in terms of forget that, you know, guys just keep playing no matter what the time, what the score is. And the fans for you had quite a welcoming tonight when you when you came in. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> you know, it was it was definitely a noted tough game five. So, uh, you know, just want to come back and answer. Covering the Bulls playoffs at the United Center, I'm Jillian Jess, MouthpieceSports.com.